We're checking out Snake RX, also known as Sneaker X, also known as SNKRX. Um, it is a roguelite that I've seen Dan play a little bit, but I don't fully know what I'm getting myself into, except that it was $2 on Steam and like a megabyte. Um, it is Snake, but a roguelite. So, you know, that classic like Nokia game where you try to eat the pellets and not uh, crash into the walls or yourself. Uh, it, it's like that, but also a roguelite. So I guess we get to choose. We can get a healer snake. I was told there was no math. We can get a swordsman, which gives plus 25 or 50 to allied warriors. I'm assuming this is at a certain threshold or another cleric. Let, let's start with the swordsman. And, oh, we can put them in order, I see. Okay. All right, let's, let's just go here. Level one of 25. This is the tutorial here still. So I'm using WASD to move around. I have a swordsman at the front and a cleric at the back. I guess like every couple of seconds, my swordsman does damage in that square. Gold gain to interest. Now we're talking. Okay, we have an archer. Class is ranger. Shoots an arrow that does 12 damage and pierces psychic. Creates a small area that does AOE. Go ahead, why don't you hit me with an archer in the middle and then, oh, you can only, we have rerolled. Oh, is this cost one, cost two? I see, so we'll, we'll just put two archers in here. All right, I'm starting to understand. Units cost gold. What, what did I do to my, uh, my cleric though? So because we have archers, oh, we get the, I mean, they're shooting, yes, but we could also try to position it so that they could land like some piercing shots. I thought we bought two archers though. Or maybe like when you get multiple units, they stack up on the same space if you buy them in succession. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable not having access to the answers to all these questions right off the bat. They upgrade, okay. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out over time. I, I appreciate the minimalism of the tutorial right now. I also do keep crashing, but I'm assuming that there's like HP related somewhere here. No, no interest on our gold because we keep uh, buying. You know what? Let, let's just send another wave. And let me see how much interest we earn. Because that, that might make an appreciable difference if we're earning, you know, like 25% or something like that. There's a Tetris roguelite on Steam now too. Now you're speaking my language. I mean, I, I played enough Snake back on the Nokia. I remember for, like, Christmas 2001, my parents got cell phones for the whole family. And when I say cell phones for the whole family, what I literally mean is one cell phone. And then whenever somebody uh, was, like, going somewhere, like, if I had a field trip, we would charge it up and then send me with a cell phone on the field trip. Uh, and I, the number one reason that I was stoked to uh, have that cell phone is because I could play Snake on it. 60 seconds IRL. Exactly. Those were the times. I, I remember, like, in ninth grade, I finished... Uh, oh. Wall Echo. Hitting walls has a 34% chance to release projectiles. Better AoE. Or plus one percent area and area size and damage per second. Let's try. That seems interesting. The longer it goes on, the better it'll be. I didn't see how much interest we gained. I'm a fool. I get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to go just chill. For now, let's just earn some interest here early. It still earned zero. Come on, man. I remember in like ninth grade, we had ninth grade uh, like exams. And then at the end of uh, the exam, my friend was like, hey, can I use your phone to call my mom? And I was like, okay, but I have to call my mom first to see if it's okay to use this phone to call your mom, because I think we're like almost out of minutes. At the end of the day, it ended up not being a problem, but... You know, I, I feel for him. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Interest one, let's go. Okay, we got 12 gold. We got, you know what? Give me some more archers. There we go. 
And then we still got 11 gold. Psychic. Creates a small area. Let's let's go psychic. Arcanist launches a slow moving orb that launches projectiles. I'm going to reroll. Let's upgrade our swordsman perhaps. And then let's save. I'm okay with save in there. Yeah, it's I, I agree with you. It seems like intervals of five generate one interest each. So if we uh, if we don't have anything that that stands out to us, that might be a reasonable place to to chill. Max interest is at twenty five. Good to know. Oh, you see, <laughs> gave him a little whip. Nice try. You almost had me. Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know, like, the first run of any roguelite, for the most part, you're just trying to figure it out, right? Like, I, I watched Dan play uh, a little of this, and his snake was, like, 25 orbs long. So we got a, a long way to go until we get there. This seems interesting, though. It is also, like, $3? But while we have something, let's try to upgrade it. Archer. We don't have a wizard yet. An outlaw throws a fan of five knives, each dealing 14 damage. Why not? Let's, let's give it a shot. For $3, name a snake. Um, Anaconda. Okay, I'm now seeing like my health bars are being covered up by uh, my face. So once we get through this wave, we will we'll move that. Uh, also, some of my things are almost dead, <laughs> so we might not even make it through this wave. But it looks like their HP is regenerating over time, thankfully. Wait, do we take damage when we bump that wall? It didn't seem like it. I guess we could we could bump the wall as a uh, oh as a uh, defense mechanism. Okay, we lived. Somehow. Health is the big bar. Yeah, like, health, health is this one, right? And then this is charge time. Plus two critter health. Plus 25% curse duration. Plus 25% AoE damage. Hook me up with that AoE damage. We want more archers always. You know what? Why don't you double me up on an arcanist and then reroll? Scout. Barbarian. Deals 11 AoE damage. Oh, so they, the Sinner, they also have a, um, so they have a class type. And then the class type has synergies with other class type. That's actually super interesting. And uh, I'm like, I'm scared now. Because I'm like, this is a lot of stuff to remember. But I just got to acknowledge, hey, it's my first, it's my first run. Don't sweat it. So a Barbarian makes other warriors have better defense. That seems good. Why don't we take one of those? And then a silencer, sorcerers repeat their attacks more often, and a scout makes rogues get a higher crit chance. Let's try that. Maximum number of units of seven reached. Daniel has lied to me. With, with his video. How did he have so many... Uh, how did he have so many snakes? Oh, it's based on levels! You can only add, like, one per level, maybe? It's very interesting. I'm starting to pick it up. On, on today's episode of Streamers Never Know What They Want, by the way, um... I always complain about tutorials and say things like, at this point, games don't even need tutorials, just let me play. And then this time I'm like, boy, I sure wish there was a little bit more tutorialization. Which is, if, if the devs happen to see this, that doesn't mean you need a new like tutorial. It really just means I've got to acknowledge that I got to shut up and like, you know, recognize that just having an opinion doesn't actually matter that much. It doesn't make it valid necessarily. So we do have clerics, right? Okay, so we can upgrade our cleric. Send it. We can upgrade our scout, or at least get a second... Oh, no, we can't. Why not? Because we have we don't have a scout. We have an outlaw. 
If there was a tutorial, you probably wouldn't read it anyway. Probably true. Probably true. Okay, re-roll me. We got 21 gold, re-roll me. Swordsman? Yes. Upgrade me, please. Then give me another. Reroll me again. Priest Bane, Cannoneer. Can we remove something? Like if I decide like, hey, I actually don't want an outlaw. Can I get a Cannoneer that shoots a projectile that does 24 AOE damage? Owned. Also makes our Rangers possibly release a barrage. How about that? And you know what? Give me another reroll. That's enough. No, never mind. It's not enough. Give me another sword. Another two swordsmen. We got a we got a killer swordsman up at the top now. And then send me. That being said, I don't know. Um, like my buying strategy versus my playing strategy. I feel like I have a strategy in the shop. My strategy when I actually get out onto the game board here is just uh, try not to crash into things too often, at least. I, I want to see some orange cannons, please. Uh, I believe I just lost a unit that got shot by a cannon. My Arcanist. My Arcanist got owned. They come back at the end of the wave. Yo, look at that. Dream come true. We always love more archers. Look at that. So this... What, what does this mean when we have two of them? Oh, because it, we it's auto chess. This is why everyone's saying auto chess. You need three level twos to make one level three. And to make a level two, you need two level ones. Or three level ones. Or you, okay, you need three to make one level up. All right, under, I understand slightly now. So we can get a swordsman, and then we have I see. Okay, hold on. This will make a level one archer. Then we reroll again. This will make. No, it won't do anything. Just ch okay. This will make a level two arcanist. He's finally under. He finally gets it. He finally gets it. Reroll again. Reroll again. I don't care. Okay, I care. But we can add a new thing. Fairy. Periodically heals one unit at random and grants it attack speed for six seconds. Or Highlander. It gives extra defense to allied warriors, but what do you do? Deals 55 AoE damage? Okay, well then... Oh, maximum number of units of seven has been reached. Never mind. Never mind then. I'll put down my weapon. Music, also sick. And don't forget, a slow fall slips less. I've been saying that for years. Okay, I, w I just want to see the... I want to see an orange cannonball shoot here at some point. There we go. Okay, so it, level one cannonball, I'm, you know... Uh, I could take it or leave it, but I'm, I'm hoping that when it gets upgraded a little bit, it becomes a little bit more potent. This is neat, though. I, I do like a minimalist roguelite, especially after playing uh, Isaac, which has, you know, I, I love it, don't get me wrong, but it's also become the most maximalist roguelite of all time recently. There's a, a billion things to consider at all given times. Just driving the snake and going to the shop on occasion, it feels, it feels nice, honestly. Yeah. Let's make rangers and rogues a little better. Jester, Stormweaver, Psychic. What are you? You're a Psychic. Okay, let's get a Psychic. For now, I'm just going to focus on some upgrades. So we can make a level 2 Cleric. We can get closer. You're a Barbarian too, right? We can get a Barbarian. We can get an Archer. They're close to leveling up. Arcanist? No. Reroll, please. Squire? They have stolen the money transports. We can take another cleric. Reroll one more time. We can take another cleric. Can reroll one more time. Take another archer. Now, if my brain is right, this should make a three, a third level archer. Because this archer will be a level one. 
It will make three level ones, which will make a level two, which will make three level twos, which will make a level three. The man, he, he, this is how we get into auto chess. After years and years, we can finally stream with Apollo again. I can tell him, I understand auto chess now. I get it. I get it now. Spin him, baby. It do be bouncing, no doubt about that. Tweet Apollo? You know what? I am gonna tweet Apollo. Let me, let me put a quick little pause on this for a second, then you go to twitter.com. Just give me a moment here. Dude, McDonald's Canada is all up in the DMs. Yo, just chill a minute, I'm working. Dot at dumb, very dumb dog. Hello. Hey, I just wanted to say I finally get auto chess. I get it now. There you go. <laughs> Let's see if he replies. He might be streaming Valorant right now, for all I know. This will make one level two cleric. I just saw a Hafu McDonald's ad that's pretty pog for her. I'm happy for her. Um, I haven't seen the ad myself, but uh, I'm happy for her. I just hope that she understands that um, and this is where it, like, it, it can get clipped out of context, so I'm not going to say what I was going to say. It's just a reference to the blowback that I got for trying to do a promotion with McDonald's that I thought would be funny. But instead, I got accused of being a traitor to the working class. So, um, I am happy for it. <laughs> we'll re-roll this real quick. Um, Arcanist. Yes, always, always. Reroll again. Vulcanist. Come on, man. Spocky Atumi. Are we still capped? We are. Okay. Reroll me again. Terrible. Insubordinate and churlish. Skip me. He responded? What did, what did he say? Did he, he said want to play some? You have to download Dota 2. What's what's better? And by the way, this is not an insult to, to Snake RX right now that I'm talking about something else. I'm just like I'm as always, I'm dominating the game because I'm the king of the roguelites. Good news, mom's alive, bad news, she's sleeping with my boss, Raj, King of the Slams. Um It's just cause we're getting banter. Yeah, we I was gonna say, what's better? Team fight tactics or uh or auto chess? I, that seems like a game that I could like play once. Second Cannoneer? Oh, oh! Level three Swordsman deals 88 damage in an area and more damage per unit hit. Now we're talking. Quick little reroll. Pass that on. Dota Underlords, except they stopped updating it. So they admitted defeat. Uh-oh, all of my units are dying? Never mind, they're back. Basically? Oh, okay. <laughs> Better healing effectiveness, more damage over time. All warriors get plus five defense every five seconds. I think we've got okay healing. Like, let, let's try to... I love that these are all percentage-based scaling. It just makes you feel that much more powerful. I see, and now I realize, like, you're supposed to reroll more often. Like, you don't have to be scared of rerolling because, uh... That's just the way it works in these games, you know? You're gonna find yourself in situations where... Whenever I watch someone play auto chess, they're like, reroll, 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 and then they're like, I'm done. I'm done with that. Let's do it, man. Oh, you- they can only reach max- max level three? Although I am like, you know what? I'm dumping the psychic. Oh, I thought we could maybe put a second cleric in there. No, no sweat, no sweat. 
Sage shoots a slow projectile that draws enemies in. Let's let's try it. Arcanist we can send. Level 2 Arcanist incoming. I guess we could have had a priest, but fairy periodically heals one unit at random. Some more rerolls, please. We always want another cannoneer. That takes us to level two cannoneer, and we'll, we'll move it on. You have no synergies? Yeah, it, bro, it's my first run. We're just chilling, you know? We're just, we're just, it's a learning lesson right now. Plus, I'm dominating. Like, you know how they say, like, winning uh, heals everything? Like, that's kind of what's happening right now. Get out of the purple, I think, maybe. Or is the, pur the purple's the sage projectile that draws him in? Okay. Um, I'm so good at snake that to some extent it might be hampering me uh, from learning the actual broader mechanics of the game just because I'm so good at actually like driving this thing around, begging for the location of the red snakes through text that like I, I might be missing out on some of the other stuff. But Thanks for the one interest. I love a game with interest, man. So, Arcanist is a gimme. Sage is a gimme. We reroll. We skip. Arcanist is a gimme. We reroll. Arcanist is a gimme! What are you? Cannoneer? I'm not sold on you yet, just for the record. Arcanist, Archer, Scout. We go. Get Owens. Cannoneer has carried your whole run. It's the huge AoE square. I thought Warrior. Oh, oh, is that? Ah, I see now. Yeah, yeah. And you guys wanted me to get rid of Cannoneer. You were like, I'm not sold on it. And I was like, it's literally carrying like the whole run. I'm not even. I'm just crashing into him now. Look at this. Send him, dude. I mean, you said our warrior's almost dead. If you cut off the head of the snake, you might you might find yourself dying. You gotta be careful about that. Quick little one interest. Okay. Well, what does the barbarian do again? Like, it, it makes our classes stronger. It makes our warriors have better defense, I think. Plague Doctor. Creates an area that deals 13 damage per second. I mean, I feel like we got a lot of, like, level 1... Unit. Like, Barbarian's not that cool. Let's roast that Barbarian. And then I'm like, dude. Dude. Let's take a Barrager. I, I want, give me as many greens as possible here. You, you match the greens with the greens. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. That's a lot of rerolling. I don't know if that... If in auto chess, I, I don't know if you would do that. You only get the class bonus if you fill a column. You know what? Great, great intel. Good to know. I feel like there's... Like this game, when I first looked at it, I don't mean to flex. I, I looked at this game probably like three weeks ago. And can I tell you, like, I have some biases. A bias that I have is if I see a game that costs like $2, I assume that it's, you know, I mean, I don't want to say not worth it because that's uh, not necessarily what I mean. But when a game is so cheap, it, it, it just sometimes, uh, or sometimes in my brain, it becomes like, um, it's like maliciously benefit. There's a word for it, you know. I, I forget in economics. Someone in chat told me like a year ago, but I forgot. It's like it's so suspiciously cheap that it scares you. Um, now that I'm playing it, I'm like, oh my god. There's there's actually way more um, depth here than I would originally have assumed. I thought it was just kind of like snake with a little bit of extra sauce, but there's there's a lot of extra sauce. Twenty percent chance to make three secondary AoEs on an AoE hit. It is, it is T-Edits. It's my first run ever. 
Barrager. Reroll. Welcome to gaming. Welcome to gaming. So we have we have filled the columns. The columns are filled because how are the columns filled? <laughs> Is, that, is this because we have three green snakes? Like one, two, three? Or is this because... Because we also have the yellow filled in. Why is yellow filled in if we only have one unit? Is it because the unit is level three? Oh, it's a secondary class of the Barrager. Okay, it's a secondary class of the Barrager. Now you're starting to, to speak my language. Certain guys have multiple classes. Look at that, man. Where, what, what are we on here? I mean, like, it, it goes to 25. I think there's a reasonable chance we might win our first run. Now I totally understand. Um, why people are in the auto chess. You get that dopamine from like every two seconds a variable shop shows up that could either win you the run or lose you the run and then you get to hit a button very fast that goes no, no, no. Oh, like you're doing right now? Oh, we're, we're crushing, man. We're crushing. <clears throat> kind of like Isaac. Isaac's all about the rerolls. There's no doubt about that. So it would actually be interesting for us if we could maybe, like, get a nuker. <coughs> Pardon me. Buy items at the bottom? These are the items we have. These are the items we, uh... Thank you. Thank you, by the way. Thank you. These are the items we've already taken so far. <sighs> Reroll. So you're a nuke lord. This would fill out a nuke slot for us, which would give extra area damage to nuke lords, like the sage and the cannoneer. Okay. So I'm like, hear me out here. But I don't want to lose these two synergies. So we can't get rid of a ranger or a forcer. You might hate this, man. I'm dumping that level three arcanist. And I actually, now that I think about it, I'm like, maybe I'll take a Pyromancer. It's three classes. Plague Doctor creates an area. Either Plague or Pyromancer. Let's, let's go Plague Doctor for now. And then reroll. We can definitely take a Cannoneer. And reroll. And reroll. And reroll. And reroll. And then pause. Okay, do it again. Yeah, plague is more expensive, so it must be better. It's just science. Level 3 Cannoneer will win you the run for sure. Let's go. Dude, th is this the secondary, like... Oh no, you know what that is? That's, that's Plague Doctor, right? So every time Plague Doctor charges up, it leaves, like, a spot on the map that if we can get enemies to go into, they'll be hit by. Interesting. Cannoneer and I'll be all right. Yeah, anytime a game says plague, I'm like, that's a problem for me. So we would act, okay, now I'm starting to get it. I know that I, I've said that a billion times now. We want, whenever we make a sage, we want to make sure our plague doctor is also making, like we're inside of the sage bubble so that the plague doctor makes the AoE damage inside of the bubble as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrager? If we're keeping it, we might as well upgrade it. He's getting it. <laughs> Keep re-rolling me? I'm, I'm not willing to go one further. You're at the center of a protractor. Exactly. Dude, I don't know why, but like this has also got me... Uh, uh, my cannoneer is going to die because I'm stupid. This is also... Uh, my cannoneer is dead. 
This has also got me excited for Darkest Dungeon 2, which makes like legitimately no sense at all. Because they're not similar, but maybe maybe auto chess in my brain is kind of like Darkest Dungeon somehow. Peep OG, peep OG. We're gonna live, we're gonna live. Yeah, it got a little spicy for a second. We're gonna die. Please just kill the elite. It's he, he, he just needs to get hit one more time. A arena cleared. Look at that. Saved. <laughs> Amplify for AOE damage. Periodically deal 10x damage where X is how many mages you have. Projectiles deal more damage further away. No, no, no. Plus 50% AOE. That's a gimme. And then a reroll. And then a reroll. Then a reroll. I mean, we're really fishing here. I also feel like this game can give you the worst feeling in the world, which is when you accidentally click reroll on something you actually wanted. That's auto chess, baby. <laughs> Remove your warriors. I guess, yeah, I should, instead of spending so much on rerolls, maybe it would be best to save up some money so that if we have to pivot or we feel like a pivot would benefit us, then we can do so. And then get to like level threes as quickly as possible instead of just chilling at level ones. Soundtrack also like amazing. You know what I do have to say, by the way? I think that backseating gets like a really bad rap on Twitch. And, and it annoys the crap out of me in specific context. Like if I play something story driven with a map, let, let's just, oh, we need the Plague Doctor though. Um, then I, uh, you know, I need the backseating to tell me where to go, what to do, what the enemies are weak to, etc., etc. In Isaac, when people are like, money can be exchanged for goods and services, I'm like, I'll have you know I graduated top of my class from the Isaac Academy. What did you just say to me, you little blah blah? Um, okay, we, we lost something there. Just chill. However, I do think that one of the ways that like a game gets some attraction on Twitch is from the audience being able to feel like they're involved. Whether that's like you're running the show in AI chat battle royale simulator or alternatively, Having the ability to, like, discuss what's happening in a game like this, where, like, the shop actually makes a huge difference. Like, nothing puts people to sleep like a game where, like, literally your comments are completely irrelevant because of the fact that what you're saying has no impact on what could be happening on the screen. So, like, this right here, this is a good mix. I, at first, when I first saw it, again, a lot of this is about how I brought my biases to the table. Um, but... Uh, when I first saw it, when I first saw it, I thought maybe chat's gonna be like, this is an interesting, because you're just playing Snake. And now I'm like, nah, man, it's like, pardon me, it's way more serious than that. There's like, there's a lot of min-maxing coming up there. This seems very hard to lose. Uh, it is very hard to lose if you're a professional gamer, like, such as myself. Um, if you're... Timing? If you're uh, an amateur gamer, the likes of which, you know, you may uh, come across me in Knockout City, for example, and lose maybe 10 to 3 two times in a row, and then uninstall the game, that's no, that's no problem. Let's just see what's going on out here. <laughs> Beats me. Just, just loud noises. <laughs> then... Uh, you may, uh, you may find yourself questioning that. You can... I don't know if you can change the order of the snake. You might be able to. I think you are, actually. We can turn off screen shake as well. I mean, we're, we're crushing it right here. It does help that as soon as enemies spawn, they get destroyed by the Plague Doctor and the Cannoneer. I don't know, uh, essentially the theory behind, like, the, the order yet, but... Dude, arrows fired by rangers, home and pierce? Now we're talking. 
I don't know the, the theory behind like where things should be in order, but we'll figure that out over time. I don't need to have it all under control right off the bat. We want, we're looking for a cannoneer. I'm willing to reroll three times. That was one, two, three, four times. Okay. <laughs> Screen shake. No. Screen movement? No. Interest caps at 25 gold. It's good to know, don't get me wrong. But uh, there might be a benefit to holding more than 25 gold. Like if you can hold enough that you could realistically pivot from a level 3 unit. I'm just thinking out loud here. But if you could realistically pivot from a level 3 unit you already have to another level 3 unit that would be better just by spamming rerolls and... Uh, and then maybe a little bit of good luck as well, then I could see the value in, in having a full, uh, a full stash. Holy crap, he understands auto chess. <laughs> you solved auto chess? What can I say? I, I mean, I solved manual chess a long time ago. Didn't you see my tweet yesterday where I said, uh, or, well, yeah, no, I didn't say much. I think I just said he's cracked. I won five bullet chess games in a row. Last night, I had a little time before bed. I said, let's play some bullet. I won all five of my games. Like, in convincing fashion. I'm almost at 1,600 in bullet now. What can I say? Arena clear. I think I'm like 1,586 or something like that. Okay, yeah, now we go in here. Plague Doctor owns. Reroll. We skip. What are we looking for? Sage, which could probably be dumped at this point, but Sage, Barrager, and Cannoneer. I'm going down to 50. Sage. Sage, Barrager, Cannoneer. Plague Doctor. Sage! Fifty-one, one more. Okay, fair enough. Not Sag, not Sag. Hey, Aldumon, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. In honor of our, our first victory. Much appreciated. Make sure to say thanks if you got one. It's a nice gesture. Why not sell the one gold units? Um, I mean, I, I have to be honest with you, I don't have an answer. One is because they're, you know, they're already level three, so, like, I have some loss aversion to just getting rid of them. Then the other thing is I've taken some items that, for example, make our rangers stronger, and if I get rid of the rangers, then to me it feels like I shouldn't have taken that item to begin with. Even if it makes us better, it might temporarily make us worse, and that's a lot of, that's a psychic pain I'm not equipped to deal with right now. Um, but I'm hoping that the, the, the strategy will reveal itself to me in time. We don't need to always, you know, max the game out on our on our first uh, attempt. Oh, all too much. Thank you. Uh, thank you again. We're hitting the milestone. I'm like not even looking at the screen anymore. It's just, I'm, I'm being entertained by chat now. Dude, are you seeing the size of this sage? Not Sag. If anything, it's happy -age. You're the real stream now. Yeah, exactly. It's the, it's the irony, right? The Ouroboros. Chat keeps me entertained, I keep chat entertained, hopefully. Ideally. Remind yourself. Cannoneer, Sage, Barrager, Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor. Cannoneer. Oh, baby. Barrager. We're so lucky. Barrager. <laughs> Sage. It never ends. Like, now I'm just repeating myself a little. Plague Doctor. 
Playing doctor? <laughs> Sire, they have not stolen the money transport? Barrage. I'm clicking too fast. You don't need to click this fast, man. Sage? Okay, that's that's good, that's good. We're far away from our next uh, milestone. Kill the elite. I'm not sweating that, man. This, this elite is not long for this world. We just need to get some... I was just gonna say, get some cannoneers in there. Get some barragers in there. It's already over. You're, you're already dead. No, Captain, your men are already dead. Owned. 25 is the last level as well. Okay. All knives chain plus two times. Warriors gain more defense. All allies with one enchanter gain damage. Okay, let's... Uh, warriors get some defense. Sage. <laughs> oh, my... Just, just mindlessly, like the all my dopamine is just going brrrr. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. My dopamine. My dopamine? This is your last round. Spend everything. Oh! <laughs> One more cannon here, please. Hey, Tomo. We only have four gold. Sage, though. Okay, oh, whatever. It's okay. I mean, if this is our last wave, it's over. You're already dead. Uh oh. Um, it's the strongest enemy that's ever existed by far. We've lost all of our good units. Please. Thank you, thank you. That, that's all I could ask for? We can dodge. Just dodge. We're just doing some dodging. My hubris. It's alright. Every five seconds we gain extra defense. We just need to stay on the ball. The homing shots from our rangers and you wanted me to sell them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want to be here anymore. Good stuff, good stuff. Don't don't touch me. No, 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 no. Let's go. <laughs> Congratulations. You've beaten the game. I made this in 3 months as a dev challenge and I'm happy with how it turned out. If you like it too, and want to play more, follow me on Steam. Try a harder difficulty with plus one max snake size. I can't believe it. We won so easily. Let me let Tomo out of my office here. He's, he's unhappy to be here. Hello, Tomo. All right, I think we'll throw a, we'll throw a slash marker on this one, but we'll run one back on, on New Game Plus now that we understand what's going on. Slash marker.